Hey gang, hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome back to chapter 18 of the Crucible Chronicles. Once again, we are continuing with Collection Roulette. Now I do have to say, uh, the the deck that we played with two episodes ago, uh, it was Makus Lobo Block Ranger. Yeah, that's what it's called. It started with Makus. Anyways, uh, so I was doing some grooming of the collection and I realized that I apparently given that deck away. So my apologies, uh, a little bit of a faux pas there playing a deck that I don't even own anymore. Um, but hey, good news, uh, we get we got to get one more game with it <laughs> before I've officially now removed it from my collection. Uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and roll a die, roll a big D141 to figure out what we're going to play today, uh, and hopefully we can get a good game. Here is our big old die rolling, so let's, let's get a roll. 107. 107 is what we're looking at. Taking a look at our spreadsheet here, 107, the Immortal of Crucimore. All right, so this is a mass mutation deck. Um, we'll go ahead and take a quick peek at what what is in store in this deck. I think um, I think this has Armory Officer Nell, if I recall, uh, but uh, we'll we'll find out here in just a second. Indeed, I think I was right. Uh, this is the Immortal of Crucimore, Dis Logos Star Alliance. I got a couple snorettes, only two snorettes in this deck. <laughs> only two snorettes. I do like seeing uh, a gateway, so we got a nice, uh, nice board wipe option in there. Um, let's take a quick peek at this, this logos. Um, no auto encoder in here. Uh, I don't know. Not gonna lie, it's just kind of like it's just kind of logos. You know, it's not not the most exciting uh, mass mutation logos I've ever seen, but that's all right. Um, Forge Compiler can potentially do some cool work. Uh, and here we go. We got Army Officer Nell. It's the important one. Army Officer Nell with one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Five upgrades? Or five potential upgrades, I should say. Um, so that'd be interesting. Interesting. We also have Hayden Osmond. So kind of some kind of upgrade synergy with those two characters, those two creatures. Uh, I do want to remember here that we have Captain Val Jericho. Obviously, could be a really nice turn one lead for us. Um, yeah, let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can will that into existence. Uh, the the turn one Val Jericho. Anyways, uh, let's hop into today's game. All right, here we go. Wow, that is a cool deck name, Sorceress Lyle. Uh, I feel like I feel like Lyle from Crit Camp should know about this deck. Sorceress Lyle, Dis Mars. Uh, shadows the uh, look I can already see the devil too much to protect just taunting me taunting me trying to trying to make me not generate ember the worst <laughs> no I, I I will say before mass mutation I mentioned t something to the effect of not wanting um, or being very excited that uh, too much to protect was gone uh, but I don't know. I think I think I kind of miss it, <laughs> to be honest. All right. I think I'm actually going to hold on to this. Uh, we don't have Val Jericho, but we do have a double draw Quixo, which I feel like is a pretty good turn one. Pretty good turn one. Um, and I can follow up with like a, a decent Star Alliance turn. So we'll play that. Draw two cards. Ah, yikes. Well, hey, look at that. Have you ever seen a three? Oh, I guess not three, 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 two, three. Huh? <laughs> I was going to say. If we ended up with a 3-3-3 turn, that's pretty legit. Okay, we got this Uxlix we got to deal with. Probably should probably should call Star Alliance so we can subdue that thing. Um, let's play out Armory Officer Nell, Sensor Chief Garcia. Uh, we deal one damage to a creature and stun it. So we'll go ahead and do that. That is a bit of a bummer, isn't it? They're going to dis at least, so we bought ourselves a little bit of time. Got Toxin and Ember Imp. Okay, well, I guess we go with Logos. Boy, that, uh. That's. Uh, maybe I should have fought with, fought with this first. I don't know. Do I even care about fighting? Oh, rip. Hmm. Just get rid of the daughter, or I could play, play the daughter, get rid of Quixo. Um, 
I, mean, I feel like having more fighting stuff could be good, but also drawing cards is gonna be nice. So we'll just discard there. Kinda wanna get to the uh, the gateway. Oh, there we go, Positron Bolt. That would've been great. That'd've been great last turn. That would've been just lovely. Just lovely last turn. The Chuff Ape. All right, okay. We need to get to the gateway. <laughs> All hands on deck. Find ourselves a gateway. Okay. Uh, we got an exhaust. Exhaustion there. We can deal with Uxlix, so that's pretty good. Let's go with Logos. Um, a discombobulator onto Xenobot. Or maybe we should fight. Do we want to fight something first? Well, I think we're going to Positron Bolt either way. Positron bolt right there. We'll let's move. I think we we want to actually just reap here. We'll reap to get rid of. Oh man, what do we want to get rid of? Sensor chief. Reap to get rid of sensor chief, or we could get rid of the observe you max. I probably should have played this discombobulator first. Oh, here we go. Even Ivan. Uh huh. Let's just play the discombobulator. Then we'll reap here. Discard a card, man. Oh, oh my goodness, we did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we did it. We found the gateway. So we've already seen one mind barb. Be Pretty regrettable if we found another one. All right, going into Mars. Not surprising. Not surprising. All right, fights the Xenobot. Doesn't like the efficiency that we're, we've got going on there. Uh, so they haven't called shadows, really, have they? No. All right, I think we I think we call called this. We'll play out. We could play the Sacro Fiend first. Let's do that. We'll call this. We'll play the Sacro Fiend. So we get a steal. We'll gateway. Killing everything, stealing one. Play out a Drekker. And then the double Snoret. So that's pretty good. We're on We're on a check with six. Uh, so that's really nice. Figured we were going to see some shadows. Ah, uh, yeah, they got the sting. All right. Works for me. Works for me. They have like an arise here? No. Nah, nah, nah. I think we'd probably go back to this. We'll reap there. We can, what do we want to do? If they're calling, if we think they're calling shadows again, I'll probably want to fight, right? Well, we can play in furnace to the right. Take a look at their, their deck. If we want to get pips, well, I can get mothership support and grabber jammer. That'd be good. The ember imp, ember imp was pretty annoying, but we'll do that again. Just trying to get rid of some ember. Um, I think we'll fight and fight there. Because uh, again, if they're planning on going back to shadows, I'd rather, rather not let them get double double steel. I would rather not let them do that. So they're probably going to pop the sting. They sort of have to. Um, sort of have to. Now I've got Sensor Chief who will increase key cost by two, so that's pretty nice. So we can at least tax. We can tax. Oh, nice. And there's the uh, Snoret coming down.
Okay. Uh, well, we'll go Star Alliance. We'll play out Sensor Chief to the right. We could play Explorer over onto this Infernus. Uh, I don't know. We'll play out Hayden. I feel like just having more creatures out on the board is going to be better at this point. Although I probably will be calling this here shortly, imminently. Right, they're going back into Dis. They got the hand of Dis. Walked right into it. Classic moves. All right, they're up to six. Oh man, they mind barbed my Snoret. Oh, that hurts. What? What even? What even just happened? Double mind barb. Yeah, well, that's brutal. That is pretty brutal. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do here? Probably just put that out to the right. Put that out to the right. Hmm. Could reap. We don't have anything that's elusive out, right? Yeah, we'll just reap. See what we got here. Oh, for, there's the Valcherico. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Uh, kind of forgot about that. We only had the one lights out, right? Yeah, one lights out. I don't see uh, any other bounce. No, not like fear or anything like that. Should we try and get the trooper on the board? No, I guess we won't be. I guess we won't be getting the trooper on the board. Uh, fights Hayden Osman. Apparently scared about that. Scared about my massive reap potential. I think we probably still need to go dis here. They're doing a, doing a lot of fighting. Uh, I guess trying to make it so this Drekker isn't going to be useful, which they have done so. Um, I mean, I could fight the Drekker, fight the Drekker into the Charette to reclaim my Ember. The Cell one's actually pretty annoying too, uh, because I just realized the Skeleton Key is a pretty nice synergy with that. Um, Let's see. How do we want this to work? I feel like this is just a this is a disc turn either way, right? Uh, I need three. Must lose three. So let's go ahead and do that. Lose three. Oh, I need to reap. Oh, gross. I do need to reap. Uh, we'll play out the relentless creeper. It's to the right. Cinder to the right. Trubaru to the left. Fear me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, you know, the other good news is we don't have any Ember. So that little trick with Selwyn does not work. What else do we have left in this this Mars? What haven't, what haven't we seen? We haven't seen the John Smith. And invasion portal. I guess we haven't seen the, the ammonia clouds either. Or Zizix, I don't think. Oh dear. The sorcerer is Lyle. Just just keeping keeping on giving giving out some rude stuff. I thought this was a friendly game. So we get the reap off of Selwyn. So I can subdue Selwyn. I can kill the succubus with my uh, explorer rover, which is not great. But like, I don't know what else I'm gonna do here. Oh, we'll put down Valjerico, so that'll be good. Uh, play down another explorer rover. We'll deal a damage and subdue. We'll fight the succubus. Um, and get nothing. 
get nothing in terms of ember control, right? Yeah, I think we just lose right here. Even if they call this, call this, they can reap for three. Um, I don't have anything in logos, do I? Doesn't look like it. They're going shadows. Uh, they'll still get the the reap off of Dodger and Secret Needle if they want to. Secret Needle their Shuler or something. That'd be nice. 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 Uh, well, we'll see. Like, we could... What could we draw into? If we got Valjerico into the center... Well... Uh, that... It's not going to do too much for me. I'm going to draw. I got a blast shield and <laughs> dark minion, uh, so I have to basically go logos then, right? Pretty sure. Um, we can uh, Lethalogica. Is that the group think tank to the left? I don't think it works, right? Yeah, because we need to basically kill. So it'd be one, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. If we kill our relentless creeper, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's not gonna work. Uh, that's okay though. That's okay. We gave it a pretty good effort, I would say. Draw the forge compiler. Ooh. Hey, at least we drew a daughter. Um, but there you go. Let's see, that's a pretty uh, decisive loss for us on this one. Opponent kept uh, just putting down some stuff that we couldn't deal with. Honestly, that uh, like the board just exploded there by like turn three. There's just so much. It's like either gateway and get stuck with that brutal shadows turn, uh, or don't get get don't gateway and then they just can continue to uh, call whatever house they have on the board. Call the uh, the Mars or Dis. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty pretty savage. Definitely a cool deck name though. Cool deck name. Love to see some some Mars bumming around. Still hate too much to protect, even though it didn't do anything this game. Still hate it. <laughs> Anyways, that's uh, that's it for this uh, this game, this video. Thank you so much for checking it out, and I will catch you uh, next week for the final the final episode of this uh, collection roulette. So I hope to see you then.